disability payments for more than a decade. As Rick Daysog reports, federal prosecutors say disability scams are costing the state hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's Stephen Splater in the black shirt leaving the federal courthouse. The 58-year-old Salt Lake man is accused of taking more than $220,000 of his dead mother's disability payments. The idea of paying tribute to your dead relatives by receiving their governmental benefits after they've perished is just a bad idea. The indictment also says that in 2003, Splater filed documents with the Labor Department that gave him power of attorney over his mother's affairs, even though she died several years before. This is just the latest case involving the alleged theft of disability payments. A recent audit by the State Department of Labor found that several people had collected their parents' disability payments even after they were deceased. Lindsay Catherine Williams has admitted that she pocketed over $400,000 of her dead father's workers' comp checks. She went undetected for 20 years. I'm sure there are more than three, and I don't think that the state is doing a good job in following up on this. We've been seeing a lot of these cases lately in Hawaii, and it's actually just a shame. These governmental benefits are intended for the living, not for the dead. As for Splater, he pleaded not guilty. If convicted, he faces up to 20 years in jail for each of the three fraud charges. Rick Daysog, Hawaii News Now.